Well, Singapore is pumping $1 million into research of how the built environment can have an impact on mental well-being. Findings may shape future plans to make urban spaces healthier and more livable. A-star researchers will lead the three-year project. Claudia Lim tells us more. Singapore's skyline, while impressive, may also be affecting the people who work, live and play in these very buildings. That's what a new study aims to find out. Researchers want to better understand the relationship between Singapore's built environment and mental health. The eventual findings can help city planners better understand and shape the city's future. It could also impact where facilities are located, land use configuration and the intensity of a land development. The study will examine factors such as urban design features, density, human behaviours and mental well-being. The evidence-based insights gleaned from this study will serve to better inform the way that we rejuvenate, reinvent and reimagine our city-state. The new research was announced by Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet on the second day of the World City Summit. At the same event, National Development Minister Desmond Lee gave an update on Singapore's livability framework launched some 10 years ago. It's been building on the insights from the country's urban transformation since independence. The framework is used by other global cities as a reference point for growth. Mr Lee also introduced a new network for cities with an outstanding record for urban development. Beyond learning from one another, we also recognise the need to foster greater dialogue, closer partnerships and deeper collaboration across cities. This is how we are able to forge common consensus in dealing with challenges ahead, many of which are transborder in nature. The network will also enable cities to embark on joint research and publications.